How rare is your body? Let's find out. Around 40% of people have a clubbed thumb, also known as brachydactyly type D, and it's when you have a thumb that is around two-thirds the size of a normal thumb with a wider fingernail. About 35% of people tilt their head to the left when they kiss, and it's thought this might be caused by hormone levels being unevenly distributed in each hemisphere of the brain. Only about 32% percent of people are nearsighted, and this happens when your eye is an abnormal shape, and instead of focusing the light on your retina, it focuses the light right in front of it. Only about 8% of people have flat feet, and there's many causes for flat feet, but it's mainly caused when the arches don't develop during childhood. Let's find out. Around 10% of people are left-handed, and people who are left-handed tend to live shorter lives, and only about 1% of people are ambidextrous, meaning they have no preference for the right or left hand. They can typically use both just as good. Only 1.5% of people have a single palm crease. This is more common in males and is a hereditary trait. Less than 1% of people have an extra rib. Most people have 12 pairs of ribs or 24 ribs total, but there's a chance you can be born with 25 ribs, and it's called a cervical rib. Around Around 3% of people have X's on both of their palms. And yes, this is a very rare phenomenon, that's why only 3% of people have it. Some even say it's a sign of a strong character type of person. About 80% of people have stretch marks and tons of different things can cause these. Some causes being pregnancy, weight gain, growth spurts, weightlifting, etc. Or anything that just stretches the skin usually. And new stretch marks usually start out as bright red, but will fade to a light pink or white over time. Only 5% of adults have never had chicken pox, so most people have had chicken pox, therefore making them immune to chicken pox for the rest of their life afterwards. However, it remains dormant in the nervous system and can reactivate later in life, causing shingles. Only 3% of people have something called scoliosis which is just an unnatural curve in your spine. And doctors still don't know what causes the main types of scoliosis, unfortunately. Around 2% of people have something called aphantasia. And this is a phenomenon where you're not able to visualize imagery in your head. And this is an example where if you're asked to visualize a red square and you close your eyes and think, what do you see? A red square slightly, or do you see nothing? About 84% of people can roll their tongue, but only 14.7% of people can make a clover out of their tongue. Less than 1% of people have this small hole on the top outside of their ear. This is actually called a preauricular pit, and biologists claim this used to be a gill for humans. Only about 11% of people have naturally curly hair, while 45% of people have naturally straight hair, and the rest have naturally wavy hair. About 75% percent of people have a deviated septum, and a deviated septum is a condition where the bone and cartilage is crooked inside your nose. It also makes one nostril passage bigger than the other. Only 20% of people can experience the feeling of ASMR, and ASMR is just a euphoric tingling sensation that you get from sounds. It usually starts in your scalp, slowly moving down your back as well. Now 94% percent of people have intrusive thoughts, and these are just unwanted images, impulses, or thoughts that you cannot control. Luckily, it's pretty normal to have these, but the most common example is when you're holding a baby, you might have the thought of dropping it on the floor. Around 6.5 percent of people say that they never dream. Although most of these people have reported dreaming at least once in the past, around 20 percent of people have a gap between their two front teeth. What normally causes this is a discrepancy between the jaw size and the teeth. And lots of celebrities also have this and don't get it corrected because they think it makes them look unique. About 25% of people have something called Hitchhiker's Thumb. Hitchhiker's Thumb is where the upper part of the thumb can bend 90 degrees backwards. And there's also a gene referred to as the bendy thumb gene that causes this. 
only 1% of the population can lick their elbow. And the people that can normally do this usually either have a long tongue or a short forearm, or both at the same time. Only 10% of people have something called Darwin's tubercle, and it's this little bump on the outside of your ear. Less than 1% of people can give themselves goosebumps on command. The majority of people get goosebumps when they're cold or when they're listening to music. Around 7% of people can tickle themselves, and usually your brain does not let you tickle yourself, but some experts believe that if you push your tongue up against the roof of your mouth, then you can actually tickle yourself because you're not used to that sensation or feeling. About 42% of women in the United States can burp on command, and a random fact about burping is that chickens cannot actually burp. Only 12% of people can fit their fist into their mouths. Less than 1% of people can hear colors or see sounds. This is when someone hears a sound and automatically sees a color in their head, or reads a word in a specific color enters their mind instantly. Only about 50% of people get goosebumps from listening to music. This is also called frizzin, and it's characterized by getting chills, goosebumps, or even a lump in your throat when listening to good music. About 17% of people will experience a ringing in their ears. This is known medically as tinnitus, and it's either a ringing or buzzing noise in one or both ears that may be constant or it can come and go. It's usually caused by hearing loss or an ear injury. Only about 25% of people snore regularly, whilst 45% only snore on occasion. Snoring is also more common in men than it is in women. Only about 1.7% of people can wiggle their toes individually. And now, most people can wiggle their big and little toes since they have their own muscles, but the middle toes are controlled by one set of muscles, making them more difficult to wiggle individually than the big or little toes are. Most people can raise both eyebrows, but only 24% of people can raise one eyebrow individually. However, you can learn how to do this as well if you want, so that's cool. Around 14% of people do not have this muscle called palmaris longus. If you want to see if you have it, then pull back your palm on a flat surface, touch your pinky and thumb together, then slightly lift them, and you you will see that ligament if you have one. Only 35% of people have perfect 2020 vision, meaning around 2 out of 3 people cannot see perfectly, unfortunately. Less than 1% of people have their heart on the right side of their body. Normally it's on the left, but people with it on the right normally don't see any negative consequences. Only 26% of people have a narrator inside of their head. It's known as that little voice in your head, and when you're talking sometimes, it talks out loud to you. Regardless of popular belief, not everyone has that voice. Some people can picture it more visually, and some people don't have that narration at all. An example of this would be saying you need to go buy milk from the store. Well, some people visualize themselves buying it. Only 40% of people can smell the smell of asparagus in urine. There's a lot of genes and DNA that go into if you're able to actually smell it. Around 25% of people sneeze sneeze when they are exposed to direct sunlight. It's also called the photic sneeze reflex, and it's where as soon as you're exposed to direct bright light, then you just sneeze. About 5% of people have elf ears. This is also known as Stahl's ear, and it's when you have this little extra fold of cartilage on your ear. The exact reason that this happens is still unknown though. Around 72% of people suffer from phantom vibration syndrome, and this is the false feeling that your phone is vibrating in your pocket when it's actually not. About 23% of people have lucid dreams, and this is just when you have the ability to control what's happening inside of your dreams. And like 55% of people have had at least one lucid dream in their lifetime. Now about 23% of people have something called varicose veins. And varicose veins are just twisted enlarged veins. And they are most common in the legs because of all the pressure due to walking and standing. Only about 10% of people have this extra little bone in their mouth. This is called the mandibular tori, and there's really not any negative effects to this, and they tend to be more common the older you get. Around 65% of people have a loop-shaped fingerprint, 30% have a whorl fingerprint, and only 5% have an arch fingerprint. About 33% of people have no gag reflex, and
and these usually range from being extremely sensitive to barely having one at all. It's also thought that by holding your thumb or doing other things, then you can learn to not have a gag reflex. Less than 1% of people suffer from something that causes constant body odor, and this is caused by the body not producing an enzyme that breaks down chemicals and things like beans, fish, and eggs. About 1 in 100,000 people have a big little finger. This is called macrodactyly, which happens from birth. Only 2% of people have naturally green eyes, and the highest concentration of green eyes comes from Ireland, Scotland, and Northern Europe. Only 48% of people can burp on command. However, this is a skill that can be learned by swallowing air and learning to control your esophageal sphincter muscle. About 0.3% of people have a sunken in chest hole. This is also called pectus excavatum and it's when your breastbone is sunken into your chest. Around 6.7% of people suffer from depression, and that's only counting people who have suffered from one major episode in the last year. Only 30% of all people have a tattoo, averaging to about 36% of people from ages 18 to 34 having a tattoo, while only 16% of people older than 55 have one. Around 20% of people have something called Taurus palatinus, and this is a bony growth that grows on the roof of your mouth. It can also vary in shape and size, being most common in Asian women. Only about 4% of people have a thick unibrow, while 29% have some kind of unibrow. Now, less than 1% of people have telangioctasia, better known as spider veins. These are just small and dilated blood vessels that appear near the surface of the skin. However, the exact reason isn't known. In most cases, it's believed to be caused by chronic exposure to the sun or other extreme temperatures. About 4% of people have Osgood slaughters. The tendon that connects the shin bone to the kneecap pulls on the growth plate. This usually causes pain and swelling below the kneecap, and it slowly goes away over time. How weird are you? Let's find out. You're weird if you don't pick your nose. 91% of people pick their nose, and the majority of those that do admitted to actually eating their boogers as well. You are weird if you don't wipe your butt front to back. 51% of people wipe front to back. Then 38% wipe back to front. And around 10% dab instead of wiping, while the last 1% prefer to air dry instead. And similar topic, but you're weird if you hang your toilet paper under instead of hanging it over. About 67% of people hang their toilet paper over because hanging it over is technically the right way, as it's what is shown in the patent for toilet paper. You are also weird if you don't pee in the shower. About 76% of people have admitted to peeing in the shower on a regular basis. You are also weird if you don't sing in the shower because 60% of people sing when they're in the shower.